So I thought today's topic, um, although directly related to disabilities, um, could go across any avenue of your life. And it's one that may be the least talked about, but also may be one of the most important, and that is self-care. Um, I've been victim of that mentality of I am sole provider in terms of care for my kids and, you know, nobody else is going to do it the way that I do it. And you get so caught up in being the best parent, if you will, that you forget about yourself and you forget about your relationships. Um, and that's not good for anybody. You know, if you think about when you fly on a plane, the first thing they tell you to do when that oxygen mask drops is to put yours on first before, um, sorry, um, before putting on your child's or, you know, whoever, you know, if you're taking care of somebody, it could be an adult, it could be anybody, you should put your oxygen mask on first because you can't physically put that mask on someone else if you pass out because you don't have enough air either. Put yours on first. Put yours on first. Put yours on first. We've all heard it a million times. The same can be said about just taking care of yourself, just general self-care. You have to take care of yourself first, or you're not going to be any good to anybody else. Um, and it's hard to do. It took me years and years and years. And I'm just now getting to the point where I, I do it comfortably. And if I don't do it, I don't feel good. It used to be I felt selfish um, if I took time for me. Now, I feel bad if I don't take time for me. Self-care for me is going to the gym. Um, I try to do it five days a week. Some days I spend two hours there. Some days it's 45 minutes. Um, I'm still there. If I get the call from the school and have to go take care of my kids, you know, I stop what I'm doing. I still respond immediately. But it's something that I need. Um, and that doesn't have to be the same thing for you. You know, some people don't go to the gym and that's okay too. But you have to find what works for you. You have to find a place where you can let everything go. Where you don't have to think about being an autism mom or who's got therapy when, or, oh my gosh, I'm bruised from last night. Um, I'm exhausted. You don't have to think about those things. Maybe it's going for a cup of coffee. Maybe you're a runner, so you're going for a jog. You work out. You go out with friends. You paint. You whatever, whatever. You garden. Whatever it is that you enjoy, you know, wherever you find peace. Maybe it's the library or the bookstore. Those are all great things. And that's just a small, small portion of what self-care could entail. It may be totally different for you. But you have to find that place. And you have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. It's important. Um, and it's also important. Sorry, I've got something in my eye and I can't see. <laughs> I'm a mess today. Um, it's important that you not feel guilty. And don't feel selfish. Last year, I decided I was going to run a half marathon at Disney. It was less about running and more about Disney. Um, I got to run through Epcot and Magic Kingdom, which was pretty cool. And, and I did it. And I went for a long weekend by myself. I ran, but I also spent two days at the parks, which for me is like heaven because I love Disney. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a, a Disney freak. In fact, we're going next week as a family. But that was something that I really wanted to do and I made happen. But I felt guilty and I felt selfish because it's something my family enjoys. So what kind of mom am I that I went without them? But then I talked to um, one of the professionals that works with my kids, and I've known her for years, for 11 years. She's worked with my family in some way, shape, or form. And she'd always told me I needed to do things for me. And let's face it, it's hard to do. Well, it's finally sunk in. And I'll be 40 this year, and I'm doing it again. I am planning a long weekend trip to Disney World 
for me and some of my girlfriends. No family, no kids, just me and some girlfriends. And I don't feel selfish and I don't feel bad. Um, I don't feel guilty. It's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to do things for yourself. Because in the end, I know, and you know, you're going to be doing those things for your children and your family anyway. And I can promise you when I come back after a weekend away, I am more calm and I'm more centered and I'm more me and I'm more patient. And it makes me love them more. You know, absence does make the heart grow fonder. Um, so do those things. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel selfish but make sure you're doing it. And if you haven't done it in a long time, it's going to be super hard at first. Um, go slow. Start small. You know, if it's an hour a month, you know, maybe you're going to go for coffee or you're going to go for a run or you're going to go have a girl's night out or you're going to massage or manicure or whatever. Maybe if you only go once a month and you might realize how good you feel after and you might realize... You want to do it more often, and that's great, and that's okay to do. Increase it then, you know, twice a month, once a week, a daily, depending on what you're doing. You have to take care of yourself. Nobody else is going to do it for you, and there's a lot of people relying on you, so do it. And this isn't just for the autism community. This isn't just for the community that is living with disabilities. This is for everybody. It's okay to take care of yourself, and it's, frankly, very important. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on what self-care is to you. You know, what do you do? Where do you go? Who helps you along the way? Um, or maybe you have questions as to how. Or you can't decide what to do. Um, we can decide together. I have some great resources. I have had these discussions with many parents so we can find out what's important to you what makes you happy what makes you tick what makes you let loose um, and feel relaxed so um give me your comments you you all know how to reach me because i've been getting questions and, and comments across the week so um i'd also like to know your thoughts on a topic for later in the week um have a great one and take care of yourself